Hey guys, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. Last time we left off in the Cave of Horrors. We did all the Space Zone. We just freed Gobi Gobby, whoever you say his name. A dinosaur who refuses to go anywhere until the train comes. And we got a Jinjo. Um, so all that's left in Witchy World is the boss of Big Top Tent. So let's take him out. But before that, actually, we never got cheeseburgers and the fat polar bear kid. We can at least give him that. We can't actually bring him back to his mom, though. And I still don't know where the other one is that runs around having fun. I haven't seen him anywhere. I don't know. I'll, I'll, it doesn't matter since we have to come back for the fat kid anyway. I'll just look for him when we come back and do that. So for now, let's get the cheeseburgers from Big Al. I like the conversation. No, those are Salty Joe's limp salty fries. Mmm. Sounds appetizing. There he is, Big Al. Let's talk to him. Fancy a burger? Big Al sells the tastiest burgers in Witchy World. Ugh! How on earth did you get a job in catering? Well, I'm not sure really. I used to clean out the toilets. <laughs> well, I've lost my appetite all of a sudden. Go on, give him a try. I've got a few left. Do you want them? Yes. We're not eating them. Come on, Al! Okay, kid, burger's coming right up. You want fries with that? Ooh, yes, please. Well, too bad. Burgers is all I got. Go see Salty Joe. What? I've got no more burgers left. Better root around for some more. Well, I think there's one just under your left foot. Where? I can't see it. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. But we're not eating them, so we don't care. Alright, more importantly, let's go take on the boss of the circus tent. Although, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to feed the fat kid. To Mumbo Skull, where we saw him just sitting. I would hate to be him, fat and in a hot area. Ah, that belch, dude. What's up, dude? Thank goodness you came. I'm really hungry. Don't you think you've had enough? No way. I just need a burger before I go find my mom. Oh, you've got some burgers. Please, 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 can I have one? Yeah, here you go, Tub Tub. Yummy! Are you okay, kid? You're looking a little, uh, full, shall we say. Oh, my tummy hurts. Please carry me back to my mom. I can't stand up. I'm not surprised. You fat tub of lard. You just couldn't stop. That's okay. It's a vicious cycle. Uh, we are going to fate the boss now. The tent. Let's go. I like this boss. This is one of my favorite bosses in the game. I love his music. That's kind of the thing with me, I guess. Music tends to come first. As I say, across numerous of the Let's Plays I do, it's the one thing that you take with you even when you stop playing the game. You'll remember the music before anything else, probably. <laughs> Let me see your tickets, buddy. Tickets? What do I need them for? Four tickets are required to enter Congress Big Top. No tickets, no entry. But we have four tickets. Pass them over then, pal. <laughs> I can't do his voice forever. I'd better let you in now then. There's just a time for the show is about to begin. I hope they've got acrobats and a human cannonball. But where do you think our seat will be? I can't see any seats. Perhaps we're supposed to sit on this big lump on the floor over here. Doesn't look very comfy. Oh dear, not more intruders. Well, I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is. Pah, you're not all that big, really. That Klungo freak near the start was probably bigger than you. Oh yeah, well, how about this then? Oh. Mr. Patch, strange wobbly inflatable thing. I suppose you think you're clever, don't you? Well, one doesn't like to blow his own trumpet. Goop, I sense a battle coming on. If you insist. Let's go, Mr. Patches. I love your music. Okay, we gotta get grenade eggs and red feathers. Oh, is he too far away? 
I think I gotta get a little bit closer. Don't turn around, I wanna get your butt patch. It's my favorite wine. Oh, come on, how did that not hit? Yeah, the aiming is very weird on this boss in particular. It may look like you're about to hit something and then you don't. And then you hit stuff sometimes that you're not even aiming at. Whatever. Hopefully we can get this together. There we go. No, oh, you found a weak spot. It looks like I might need some help here. You'll have to beat me from the air now. Yeah, these things are gonna try to punch you, so we're gonna take off. But that's good. That's why we need an airborne egg aiming. Let's do it. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Do not. That didn't just happen. How did I die on Mr. Patch? Well, crud. Come on, guys! I'm not violent and inflatable! I don't want to hurt you again! You're just full of hot air. <laughs> True, but I need to see, send you another lesson or whatever he said. I can't believe I died on this guy. Well, at least you got to see the bonus dialogue there after losing. Alright. This time we're doing it for real. Where are you? I need more eggs after that nonsense. I took a hit from his beach ball and I noticed I was low on energy and then I saw a honeycomb and I wanted to get it. And as soon as I picked it up, I got punched in the forehead. And then he coughed up another ball on me. That sounds weird. No, oh, you found a weak spot. Yeah, I found it before too. You're done. This guy's not hard. I just came in here with lower energy than I realized. And then slipped up. Yeah. Take the low ones out from the ground as soon as you can. Let's do it. And let's enjoy his music for a moment. How about I stifle my stupid voice? <laughs> I'm racking up the hits! So good, dude. Grant Kirkhope is awesome. Let's do it. Right in the face. Don't hit me. I don't even care about your little beach balls. Yeah, one more patch to go. You're done, buddy. How did I die? I don't understand. Doesn't matter. Okay, he's down there. Whoa! That cough noise is terrible. Jumbo! Oh, I didn't mean to land. Oh well. One last refuel. You're done, buddy. I'm coming for yous. Alright, this should be a perfect angle. Yes. Come on, eggs, work with me. Got it, okay. It looks weird, but... Uh-oh! Looks like trouble! Bye-bye, Mr. Patches. Or whatever, Mr. Patch. And farting away he goes. There we go, the final Jiggy we can obtain of Witchy World. Which means, back to Jimmy Wiggy. We gotta unlock, we're probably gonna unlock definitely two more levels. I wonder if we'll unlock three. We have 30 Jiggies. There's a lot of puzzles to put together. I think it is gonna be three levels, which is good because that means we'll get it all out now. We won't have to go back to his temple for a while. And we get to see a new area of the Isle of Hags, which is nice, because I like to get a good look at every angle of Hags. Oh man, so stupid. Hey, you already warned me about no food. Get out of here. We already have seen this. Why is she saying it twice? Nothing weird happened between episodes. Maybe it's just because it was a different exit? I don't know. These are weird things and I don't know anything about them. Yep, zero cheeseburgers, zero french fries. Well done. Get in the silo. Alright, so we are going to the wooded hollow. Because we got some puzzles to put together. 
Next up is Jolly Rogers Lagoon. That's another great level. I love the town at the beginning of it. The underwater sections, it's basically your water world of this game. They can be just like any other water level. It's kind of hit and miss, but I like it. And then I think it's Pterodactyl Land, which, eh. All right. A hundred seconds. I don't know if I can do it. This appears to be a picture of an underwater chamber you can find. Which, kind of like Witchy World, I find this to be a very odd representation of Jolly Roger's Lagoon. I hear a Jinjo. These cutscenes take so long, too. I think I might cut them out and just, like, show the pertinent part of, like, the New World opening. But all of Jiggy Wiggy stuff, I'll just cut it out. Yeah, there we go. Show me where Jolly Roger's Lagoon is. The cliff top. Yep, we're about to go there. It requires the split-up ability, which we only just now found, really. I don't know why it keeps hiccuping like that. Oh, well. It's minor enough that I don't care. But somebody probably does. There's always at least one dislike. Whatever. Alright, we had enough for this puzzle as well. This is Pterodactyl Land. Very clearly, you can tell by all the brown. Jeez, that's not where I wanted to put it. Pterodactyl Land, it's okay. I guess it's impressive for its size alone. And it does have some interesting challenges. Just, you know what ruins it for me? Is Wumba's transformation. There's two transformations in this world. And there's one in particular that's such a pain in the neck. I'm gonna actually look it up. Because you, you turn into a dinosaur. Sorry to spoil it, but I mean, tear it out of the land. And there's a small dinosaur that has to roar. Specific roars. And I don't know, it's weird. I gotta look it up. Though. The Wasteland, yep. I don't know if we can access the Wasteland. I don't remember how to get to it. Actually, don't you swim from the, uh, the Pine Grove that Witchy World is in? Isn't that how you get to it? Maybe it is. And we had enough for a third one, just kind of like I thought we would. This is Grunty's Industries. That's a fun one. Getting into it is pretty challenging, but I like it. I love how they designed it. So I can't wait for this one, too, but we got some good stuff coming up. Jolly Roger's Lagoon. That's gonna be fun. And we'll get through Pterodactyl Land as best as we can. See, I think another problem with that world is there's so much other stuff connected to other worlds that you have to do that it becomes even more of a headache. But it's alright, though. Yeah, there we go. I think a lot of people don't like this world, but I like it. This one is by the Quagmire. Now, this may seem like we have access to the world, but there's nothing you can do in there when you actually go through here. You have to arrive to this place via train, but you have to go through this entrance to activate the train station. I think that's pretty clever, but that's not for a while. We've got two more worlds to go through, which could be like three parts long each or something, maybe four, because we're starting to get into the longer worlds now. Oh, uh, you have nothing left for me, whatever. Challenge seven. Yeah, there are actually, after Grunty Industries, there's only two more worlds. I thought there was more than that for some reason. All right, let's move on to new territory. I'm trying to think if there's anything in the Isle of Hags that I could do now. Kind of like offshoot stuff. Jinjos, honeycombs. I honestly forget all the different little secrets around this overworld. Oh, this Jinjo! I forgot all about him. Luckily, visual cues, basically him being right in front of my face, helped me remember. Sing in lots of songs, I love Jinjo Isles. Or Isla Hags. Double jump. Yeah. So this will gain us access to the cliff top. Are 
there's a few things we could do before ending things off, because I'm probably going to save Jolly Roger's Lagoon for a fresh episode. Which might make this one a little bit shorter, but that's okay. I gotta pad out the days anyway, because... This is still that same Saturday. Tomorrow is Father's Day still, and I got a lot to do on Monday, too. Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. Yeah, now we got ice eggs. There's only one more egg type in the game. I like the ice eggs. We're going to be using a lot of them in the next world. Whoa. Jam Jar's eyes are intense. Still hasn't bonked his head either. All right. There's a train switch right there. Let's go get it. Are there any kind of guys going to poke me? No? Just a clean shot over. That's nice. I like it. This is going to be useful for the next world as well. We're getting into the complicated jiggies. But there are still some easy ones. I can make that jump. Yeah. And then there's one... Whoa, Turn. press the wrong C button. I used to be really good with the inverted controls and stuff because of Perfect Dark and, I don't know, a lot of other games that use it. But ever since Breath of the Wild in particular, I got used to the camera that has no inverted controls whatsoever. But this bridge connects to another world that we have yet to unlock. That's Hailfire Peaks. But that's not for a while. That's after Grunty Industries. But we can still go over there and get the Globo that we saw in the cutscene as it was showing us Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Plus, there's some notes over here. Oh, I love this place. This is one of my favorite worlds in the game, too. Very lag-heavy, though. It really pushes the N64 to its limit. But I don't know how it's going to be on an emulator. Because I've noticed it's still very low frame rate, but it's still better than the actual console, I've noticed. There has been some weird graphical things. Like, I think the lens flare of Mayhem Temple was a little bit excessive on the emulator. On the console, I don't remember it being so in your face like that. But anyway, here we are to Ye Lagoon. But that'll have to be for next time. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in a couple of days. Well, the next episode might be tomorrow, but we will have to see. Depends on how Monday goes for me. But until then, take care.